reportedly spent more than $15,000 to buy seats on a flight for his pet falcons, 80 of them. And then all hell broke loose when they started the in-flight movie, Stuart Little. It's 36 inches. It was. A new study finds that New York City rats contain fleas that are capable of transmitting the bubonic plague. It's a rare black eye for the otherwise sterling reputation of the fleas on New York City rats. Right. Longtime Trump advisor and business Babadook, Roger Stone, has been charged by the special counsel office on seven counts, including obstruction, making false statements, witness tampering, and I assume the attempted murder of Batman. <laughs> Stone, pictured here as an old woman being told there's no more room at bingo. It's actually a great ad. <laughs> and just to clarify, the solution for your urge is to randomly mouth kiss and crotch grab unsuspecting women is Tic Tacs? Dude, I don't think the problem women have with sexual assault is bad breath. That's like Bill Cosby using a coaster for one of his love potions. <laughs> Cohen also provided Congress with copies of letters threatening Trump's high schools and colleges not to release his SAT scores. And while Cohen did not reveal what those scores were, let's just say Trump lives a little closer to 920 Pennsylvania Avenue than to 1600. Which is just ridiculous. I mean, of all the goofy nonsense that employers do pay for, cookie cakes, tote bags, office parties, you can't also spring 10 bucks a month for birth control? I mean, how about just skip one bagel Friday so that Karen in accounting doesn't have to take maternity leave every time she raw dogs her husband? <laughs> how... <laughs> the NFL has suspended New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady for his role in Deflategate. Wait, why are we calling this Deflategate? Gate doesn't mean scandal. It's from the Watergate Hotel, and Tom Brady did not take air out of the Watergate Hotel. <laughs> he took the air out of balls. It's deflate balls. Let's just deal with it. It wasn't your first choice. The problem is you weren't her choice, period. And what are you trying to tell us exactly? If you did find her more attractive, then you would have groped her? It's like telling your girlfriend, oh, come on, I would never cheat on you, baby. I don't have any good options right now. <laughs> And by the way, we'd probably believe Trump more if while he talked, he wasn't groping the air the entire time. Feminist is really just someone who believes in equal rights for women. And that's easy to get behind. That is until you see an actual feminist screaming into a cop's face wearing a homemade uterus hat, and then you're like, oh, there are levels to this. Well, the first presidential debate is over, and it's official. We still have to choose between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. <laughs> It's like choosing a phone right now. There's really only two options. We don't want the iPhone 7, because it feels like it's kind of being forced on us. Also, it's not necessarily an improvement. But we also don't want the Samsung Galaxy, which could explode at any minute. In the recent mass shootings, saying he never saw a body with bullet holes that was more devastating than taking away gun rights. Dr. Carson, be honest. Was your medical degree given sarcastically? <laughs> I'm starting to think you're less of a real brain surgeon and more of a real brain surgeon. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this out loud or on TV, but please, America, pick anybody but the black guy. <laughs> the Philadelphia City Council approved a resolution honoring Gritty, the new Philadelphia Flyers mascot. After lawmakers passed the measure, Gritty kept his end of the deal by releasing their children. <laughs> We can't just let anybody have an assault rifle, same way we can't just let any country have a nuke. Okay, if I, if, if, if I get the, the, the need, I get the need that you want to have gun protection, but there's a fine line between cautious and insane, all right? There's a difference between carrying a condom in your wallet and wrapping your entire penis in bubble wrap. <laughs> I mean, of course the Pope would meet with Kim Davis. He's the Pope, that's his job. He gives hope to the hopeless, the prisoners, the sick, John Boehner. The Pope should be with people who need God the most. If I was Pope, I'd be eating Subway sandwiches with Bill Cosby right now. <laughs> We'd have a lot to talk about. Even 
Cubans' Raul Castro has demanded that if the U.S. wants to restore full diplomatic relations, it must return control of Guantanamo Bay to Cuba. And I'm guessing we're not getting back our security deposit. <laughs> and why is he shushing us? Is he saying, shh, don't tell anyone what's in our special sauce? Or shh, don't tell my parents how bad my acting career is going? <laughs> Or is the new McDonald's play place in the back of this dude's van? <laughs> because this isn't the image you use to sell fast food, it's the image you see when you come to after getting drugged at a costume party. <laughs> According to a new report, while Ben Carson was a practicing neurosurgeon, he was the target of six malpractice suits, including one patient who claimed Carson left a sponge in his brain, which... Sounds bad, but come on, can we really trust the word of a guy that has a sponge in his brain? <laughs> Hillary Clinton tweeted this week that she has asked the State Department to release all of her emails from her years as Secretary of State. No word yet on the identity of the lucky individual who has to read through 50,000 emails from a grandma. <laughs> Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has taken himself out of the running to be the permanent White House Chief of Staff. Also taking Chris Christie out of the running, side cramps. <laughs> Donald Trump blamed intelligence agencies for allowing the Russian dossier to leak, tweeting, are we living in Nazi Germany? Of course not. Nazi Germany at least had the guts to take on Russia. <laughs> Italian-American groups are accusing the MTV show Made in Staten Island of promoting negative stereotypes. These claims were denied by the show's executive producer, a chicken parm and a wife beater. <laughs> the Republican-led Senate Intelligence Committee has subpoenaed Donald Trump Jr. to testify about his meeting with Russian officials. And so that he didn't feel left out, Eric got a subpoena from Detective Pikachu. <laughs> A new report says the best place in the world for retirees is Switzerland, while the worst place for retirees is still at the top of a staircase. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, take a look at the credits. Country where customers could fill up any cup they brought in with a Slurpee. But if you missed it, don't worry, you can just do it any day. <laughs> it's 7-Eleven, man, go nuts. What's the worst thing that happens? You get kicked out of a 7-Eleven? That's the best thing that could happen. <laughs> Republicans this week were left scrambling to find a new Speaker of the House after Representative Kevin McCarthy abruptly dropped out of the race. And who can blame him for not wanting the job? Look, here is a picture of current Speaker of the House John Boehner when he took office four years ago. And here's Boehner today. <laughs> See, this is why women should be in full control of all reproductive rights. Men are not going to take birth control because pregnancy just doesn't affect our bodies. When a woman gets pregnant, she has to decide whether or not she wants a human being to grow inside of her. Meanwhile, I get nine months to decide whether to buy a stroller or a bus ticket. <laughs> and every other decent Republican is too busy running for president. So now the GOP is only left with scraps. So I thought maybe in the spirit of Halloween, they should just stitch those scraps together into some kind of Frankenspeaker. <laughs> and you know what? I think I know just the doctor who's crazy enough to do it. <laughs> I never understood why cops don't like us. We have so much in common with the police. We're both portrayed negatively on the news. You can hear our cars from blocks away. Everyone gets nervous when they think we're following them. We're the only two people I know who can hop a fence in boots. Uh, we both bring our guns to funerals. I can go on and on. And let me just say, as a man with an extremely small penis, okay. No, no, keep going, keep going. I feel split. very bad for myself and my teensy weensy peensy. <laughs> that was okay. a great job, man. Yeah. Alex Rodriguez reported to Yankee Spring Training this week after completing his 162-game suspension. You know, it feels good to be back at work, said A-Rod's steroid dealer. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> well, he's not a terrorist. Terrorism is the actual problem. When you only associate terrorism with one religion, you make them synonymous. There's 1.7 billion Muslims in this world. If you think 1.7 billion people are actively trying to kill you, maybe you're a little radical. <laughs> also, how are we supposed to find these terrorists if the only thing we know about them is that they're one of almost two billion people? It was reported that a sequel is in the works for the Mel Gibson movie, The Passion of the Christ. So get ready to see, I still know what Jews did last summer. <laughs> You know, I refuse to see another Passion of the Christ movie unless Jesus has the line, you crossed the wrong guy. <laughs> Mexican officials are upset with Pope Francis after he said he was concerned about the increased drug trafficking in his native Argentina, calling it Mexicanization. Pope Francis later apologized, calling his comment, quote, as dumb as a Guatemalan. <laughs> 